when you move your mouse towards any option there is a screen tip below which tells you the shortcut but not for all cases suppose we want shortcut for border so it is not showing us so some of the shortcuts may be known to uh, known by this way or whatever shortcut i want to know i can create by my own see i have done this all i have applied all borders now who do that select the area press alt button from your keyboard when you press the alt button from your keyboard and what happens this type of numbering uh, came in front of you on the tabs so such as for home it is showing me h for insert it is showing me n for page layout it is showing me p so as many number keywords are there so after pressing alt i get this keywords list and for borders where i need to go in home tab this section so for using home tab i will press h from my keyboard when i pressed h then another options opened here rest of the option all tabs options are now open here then for borders it is showing me b i press b the border option is open here and i want to apply all borders so this a is here so i press a from keyboard so it is applied here हाँ कल है बल्कि मैं मेल करूंगा प्रिंट आउट निकाल लाना तीन पेज चलो ठीक है हाँ मैं मैं कर दूंगा विकास का है राजू का ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है आई विल बी हाँ हाँ क्लास ले रहा हूँ अभी मैं सो सो बॉर्डर्स फॉर अप्लाइंग बॉर्डर्स वी हैव नोन दैट ऑल्ट एच बी ए इज द शॉर्टकट सच एस आई वांट टू मर्ज माय सेल्फ मर्ज एंड सेंटर so what i will do press alt now i have what i have to use h then for merge and center it is showing me m and merge and center this option this is c so what is the shortcut alt h m c so for unmerging alt h m u okay such so as i want to apply color here what i'll do alt h and for color again it is h and you can see for no fill there is options but there are no options for these using these colors so for this you can use your arrow button if you want to use okay for deleting color alt h h n so this is the main criteria that's how we use shortcuts in our excel one thing we should keep in mind that i have to press alt only one time and it should should not be pressed hold the time i have to press it and release it just press it once only i have press it once then release the keyboard 
now I am pressing H and then release the keyboard and then pressing B then release the keyboard so it is not like option we do control 1 control uh, control B control U in which we use a control button pressed here but in alt case it will not be pressed it will be pressed once and released once and released so that's how we use shortcuts in that net now let's come to dialog boxes how to use dialog boxes with shortcuts such as we know for control uh, here we use that number formatting this is a dialog box basically so we have a shortcut for their control one format cell option now if we want to do tab navigation in between that uh, uh, between the tabs so what we have to do I have to press the control and keep it pressed then press tab once 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 every time you press tab uh, it will change your tab and then if I have to move towards reverse order so I will press shift with control the both keys I will uh, it will be pressed here always it will be remain pressed and tab one for reverse navigation now let's suppose I am in alignment tab I have to do wrap text or merge cell option so for accessing these items we got to know that there is an underline between every option wrap text there is a W string to fix there is a K merge cell there is a M for accessing these controls what we have to do we have to press alt and keep it pressed here then press W while pressing alt you need to press the that underlying character such as merge okay I just remove wrap text and I do alt K shrink to fit so you can access through your keyboard all the things now come to text alignment I want to go in horizontal category horizontal alignment so I will keep it pressed alt then press H now here is a list and you can use your arrow button for moving there and for selecting you will be pressing enter and then for finalization of this settings what you need to do that you need to understand that the, where there is a green area around the button it is activated on the button enter and when you press escape the settings will be cancelled it will be like cancel button so when you press enter the ok button will be automatically pressed so this is the main funda for using shortcuts with dialog boxes and with excel and if you want to know more shortcuts you want a list of shortcuts so or excel itself is having that you just press F1 from your keyboard for help and then type here keyboard shortcuts so actual shortcut and function keys are there click on that here you will find lot of shortcuts lot of key combinations how to use that so just memorize that or practice with the shortcuts then you will be easily mastering that what you do work while working in your office just uh, leave your mouse aside and uh, 
यूज द होल थ्रू ऑल्ट कीज थ्रू मैनी मैनी फंक्शन ट्राई टू वर्क केयर विद द शॉर्टकट एंड यू विल फाइंड इन फ्यू डेज यू विल यू विल बी हैविंग सम ग्रेट स्पीड ग्रेट शॉर्टकट ऑन द हैंड्स ऑन अप एक्सपीरियंस ऑन दैट so now let's while working on excel we have to know its limits also what are the limits and specification so type limits in excel help okay spelling mistake for this so excel specification and limits are there here you will find the details of excel the information about excel that what is the worksheet size how many rows are there how many columns are there how um, maximum can be the row height how many page breaks you can enter colors in a workbook characters in header on footer so these are some useful information we should know just read as a reference because if you get some problem in excel then you can find it here that why it is happening it will be your reference point that uh, you can check there also that the problem is coming it is appearing if it is not due to this it is due to this or not now let's come to excel options yeah i have to go on office button this is called office button office button and then excel option there are some settings itself which we use for setting up excel or most of the time we use when we get a problem on excel so let us know about all these options show mini toolbar all selection what is that i have unchecked that when i type something i select it so a mini toolbar comes here while i type and do selection on text so it is not appearing so it is here in these options when it is not checked it will not show so this is your mini toolbar then you have while working working with data we um, select something and we find we have not selected the option yet but the changes are still there as a preview so this is called live preview when you are changing the color is changing here so this is called live preview if it is not happening so this option might be unchecked that time so no if we control this uh, from here then show developer tab in ribbon by default it is unchecked so what is developer tab we have this developer tab for using excel macros and vba and controls so this developer tabs activates from here if you are not having that you can activate from there itself next you can change your color scheme you can see my excel is showing as a black theme and uh, somewhere we find silver theme the excel color totally changed so for changing theme we can use different different uh, themes 
this option now then screen tip style there are three screen tip styles available here show feature description in he screen tip don't show feature description in screen tip and don't show screen tip. so three features are for screen tip available here so which i have shown you that how to find your shortcuts we are just uh, selecting the thing and it shows you feature descriptions descriptions were there if you don't want to show the descriptions you can choose don't show feature descriptions in screen tip and if you don't want to uh, show screen tips you can choose as per you want then you can see in my sheet there are six sheets and i have not added any sheet here so by default it is coming by default you can see my font is selected as arial and the font size was 12 so how to do that just go to excel options in popular tab you will find in the same tab whatever i select here it becomes default i have changes to six sheet now suppose if i want five sheet the view we can select page back preview page layout preview or normal view the font size we have selected as 10 and font we change to let it be arial i press okay but it will affect when we close excel now my font size is 10 it is itself arial and now the new sheets are five so you can change it according to you what you want to make your default setting then we have edit custom list option here what is custom list when we type january we can drag this one then we can drag monday tuesday also so where the information is available it is with custom list now see i am typing a name and i can also do this the different different names are coming here so how to use that suppose you want to add some list of cities in your list So this list I want to be fit in this dragging option. How will I do? I will take help of Excel option, popular edit custom list. Here you can see the list available are Sunday, Monday, January, February, and this one. And these lists are created by me. This one, this one, and this one. Three lists are created by me, which I am using. now i have to i can type a new list also i can type here or i can import from any address so where from where i want to import from here i just press import button all the word are here add then okay then i type any of the city in between the data i can drag it yeah so this is again a very useful option now let's go with next sheet so here are our options there are calculation of options sometimes we have a formula but it is it doesn't work somewhere such as i have a form formula here 
I am changing my value. Now it is changing dynamically. The value is changing instantly. But sometimes what happens when your calculation option are set to manual is does not show you immediate changes. You have to calculate it. So sometimes this error uh, happens. So from here you can choose your calculation options to automatic or manual or you can go here in excel options and formulas automatic exact automatic exact data tables there are data tables which we can use so uh, the automatic mode for that the data and the manual then we have iterative calculation enable iterative calculation what is iterative calculation when you give the reference enter reference circular reference suppose I type a formula 10 plus this cell okay and here I type a reverse formula 10 plus this cell what will happen it is showing me an error that the formula you have given is wrong because they are calling itself I want to add 10 the value is here and there is a formula which uh, asked that I have to add in this value so they are not able to decide their value due to circular reference so this is called iterative calculation iterative means loop loop wise calculation which never ends so maximum iterations we can set that thousand time you do iteration then stop you press ok and we find the answer here this formula we don't want to do that just disable it and delete it so this is an error which you, you can use through your formula also then in formulas you come there are r1c1 reference style what is this reference style you can see there is a b c d a b c d for columns and one two three for rows now in this reference style you refer to equal to and when you refer a cell it will be called as a1 and this will be called as b2 so there is a fixed reference for every cell now let's come to other option r1c1 reference style in that style the abcd will be uh, replaced by this 1 2 3 everywhere now which we have typed uh, the reference as b2 it is showing me r4 c2 what does it mean actually just move this reference to everywhere now come to again reference the, here it is showing rc that means row 0 column 0 now we move we increase one row we have increased one row now row one column zero row two column zero row three column zero now let increase in columns row three column one row three column two and we can also go in reverse see row minus one row minus two row minus three as with columns minus one minus one. so it takes reference from here only where it is available the, re the reference will take the name of that reference relative reference it is, it is called it will it is used in VBA 
in excel we don't use it in vba we use it so much for identifying uh, the data now you have, if you are not formula or to complete is not working such as i type a formula v so there is a list now i have to do we look up so this list is not coming uh, so you if the, that option may be disabled that time so in formula these of this auto complete option is for this enable background checking what is background checking when we do when we type any check number or text where we want to keep zero first so what happens when we type these number it doesn't accept zero for making accept zero we use quotation mark and then use zero zero and then enter our number so this there is a green error sign here and when we click on that uh, we it shows that number stored as a text here it is saying that number stored as a text now the options are here ignore error convert to number if you convert to number the zero will be deleted so it is all about this error setting you can find uh, change the color of the error or you can fix the rules which you want for this error such as number formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe so this error was appearing when i was doing zero so i uncheck this number i don't want error to be shown these type of places so i have done this and no error is coming now let's come to proofing option in proofing what we do So what happens the work option is not working here spell check option let me open another worksheet so here we can see when we press f7 it is showing only this one it has no another option if we select this one also it will not show in our spell check what's happening here the ignore words in upper case is selected just uncheck that it will do spell check in your upper case character also select it f7 now it is coming now let's see another option
sometimes what you want to try you want to write c in between of this uh, brackets when you press enter it you get a sign like this copyright again we try with r it will be converted as registered so there is automatic conversion r there i type ss no no sk no conversion is there so maybe delete it so what ha what is happening in two cases that copyright symbol are coming and register symbol are coming so where to say set these options that it it should not become so go to excel option improving auto correct option and you will find replace as you text as you type by which character replace this one with this one this one with this one this one with this one so there is a, a definition of every word auto correct so if you don't want it should be changed then uncheck this option replace text as you type so now you can enter whatever you want it will not be, uh, become corrected here okay now let's see uh, another option this op option we can use for our own purpose also suppose something is very long to type or we use frequently such as by name so i want as uh, when i type ss it should be replaced with sandeep singh replace text as you type so i have added here okay so when i type ss it will be changed as this one so we can use uh, by this way also and another thing we use when we type any network address or email address it change it become changes in an hyperlink now it is difficult to add it here i need to go through my keyboard keyboard itself only i can't use mouse because when i use mouse then it will go to google itself so i don't want when i am typing this hyperlinks and email it should not be converted into hyperlink so you just go to an excel options proofing auto correct option and there is one option auto format as you type and there is internet and network path with hyperlink the place as you type internet at and at the path with hyperlink just uncheck that press ok ok now when you type it will not turn into hyperlink just after practicing keep the all the setting as it was before because when you forget you will never you it will be very difficult to identify which set the setting is got disturbed now let's come to save options see when we are saving a workbook my workbook is giving me a location desktop and save as type it is giving me excel macro enabled workbook so i can set the default 
to desktop also and i can set the format also in which format it should be saved so from where i will say uh, do that uh, from office button excel option save here i can choose my format excel 97 2003 macro enable workbook excel workbook whatever i choose it will reflect me there then the default file location i have here i have given as desktop how i will find that so suppose i want to open some folder of d always d atl folder suppose that atl folder so i will just copy this one this link location and i will paste it here when i press save as then it will open always that area okay now do go again to save option now default file location is there you have some uh, seen sometimes when you are an unexpected shutdown is there in your computer then a recovery file appears on excel screen at what location it got saved is there if you want to find some uh, files which uh, which are unexpectedly uh, destroyed and as due to unexpected shutdown so from this location you can find those files if you had not uh, deleted all because it got deleted when you do recovery and there is a option you generally delete that save auto recover information after 10 every 10 minutes in every 10 minutes it saves a copy in this location of your workbook so if you want to enable this option you can enable you can disable this option you can disable and you set you can set the that in how much minutes it should got saved here it should be saved then auto recover exceptions for suppose you have a large large very large file it got open and when it, it is got saved in every 10 minutes then what will happen it took a large time to save the file due to this your computer will be uh, will hangs so for that this option will be helpful for you disable auto recover for this workbook only you can choose the workbook in open workbook and choose this option so the auto recovery feature the auto saving feature will be stopped for this option now let's move to another option advanced when you press enter your cursor moves to moves in down direction you can change your direction if you want after pressing enter move selection to anybody there if you are if you want to put a automatic decimal in your numbers you can use this option after two places so what i will do i type 1025 oh one second So I type one one zero two five. It will put automatic decimals here. Any number you put, it will put automatic decimals here. Okay. 
no i just disabling this option and sometimes what happens you want to drag and you see there is no black dot you want to drag there is no option to drag what happens sometimes it happens there is no drag option from where it came just go to excel option go to advance and here enable fill handle cell drag and drop when this option got unchecked the black dot is not coming which is used for dragging now it is okay now let's see if you can choose uh, you can change your gradient color also want to go red like red it will show you red so in advance this option was useful only then customize in customize you can see this is called a quick access toolbar and here you can use shortcuts which you want suppose i want to do paste as values so i have created a button here instead of going a long procedure i have to created shortcut here paste for paste values so how it how it is created just go to excel option in customize and popular command it was added that how popular command home tab the all the options are available i go to p and in p i can choose paste values add so it will be added here any other thing you which you want to add such as we use i go to data tab and i use filter this filter button and okay and when i have to create filter on anything i just click here okay so you can choose more and more shortcuts here then we go to add in the add in table helps you to add some extra features in your excel in this manage section when you go you will find a list of extra add ins available here or suppose you want to add some macros in your file so you can browse uh, those macros here when you press ok finding ok you will find that macro here and if you want to activate that you can just click and press ok the option will be available in your excel workbook then let's go to trust center trust center sometime what happens your macro is not running your control is not uh, running so the macro settings are here you can enable or disable macros active extractions for controls which you are using buttons text box list box so active extracting it is disable or enable or what you can choose message bar message bar when your content will be blocked it will show message bar if you don't want to show message bar then never show message bar external content suppose uh, you are uh, fetching data from sql server or what so enable disable setting are here from access and external content you are accessing so the restriction settings are here then add in so these options are here for your 
excel so this this is all about your customization of excel so today's class is over if you want to ask any question you can ask